Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This week's video was actually requested by a subscriber of mine called Jack Connelly, who asked me how to showcase um, making a VBA script run automatically depending on the time, time interval. So that's what we are going to do today. Um, all you need to do is you have to have an Excel sheet with external data connections. In this case, I made three external data connections by the use of the stock section in the data tab. Now all we need to do is we need to write the script and in order to do that we need the developer tab. And if you don't know by now, you um, get the developer tab by clicking on Excel, Preferences, Ribbon Toolbar and then go to the developer tab and tick the box. If you've done that, you should be able to access the developer tab and then the Visual Basics form. And this will basically pop up a new window with um, an empty module. And in this module, we are going to write two short scripts today. The first one is going to be the script that is going to refresh the data. So let's call it sub refresh my data. And <clears throat> in this um, tab, we are going to make all the data connections in this workbook be refreshed. And we do that by calling it active workbook dot uh, refresh oops no refresh all exactly and now we need to write a second uh, sub which is going to be the updating part of the sub uh, so let's call it update data and this will set our time interval in which we will make the first sub so the refresh my data sub um, update let's call it application on time, so that's specifying um, when a specific action should be rolled out. And we do that, um, we set the interval by calling now, which is uh, now, which is the time currently, and then giving it um, an additional time value. And let's make this script run every 10 seconds. So we are going to do that by call 0000. zero, zero, zero and 10. The action that should be done if this um, time frame passes is the refresh my data sub. All we need to do now is to make this a whole loop. We need um, in the first script to call the second script. So whenever the second script is calling the first script, the first script is calling the second script back. So that's then uh, a full on loop. Update, da oops, that's wrong, update data. So if we make, uh, if we run this sub now, and you can, by the way, run both subs um, in order to start the process. The only difference is if you um, call the sub update data, then um, it will start with uh, the 10 second delay and then call the active workbook refresh function. While if you start with the refresh my data tab, it will refresh the data right away and then call um, the time interval. But if we click um, this sub now, for example, then we expect um, a 10 second delay and then the refreshing of all the data connections. So let's just do that right now. Always save, don't forget, and make it run. And we should get a little pop up here it's telling us that this um, sheet is trying to update data. Let's see if it happens. And it does. And now we should technically wait another 10 seconds to see if it works. If uh, the intervals are correct. And it does it again. So that's all there is to it. If this video was helpful, or if you have any suggestions that um, uh, on future videos that I could do, then feel free to leave a comment or a like, and I would be very glad if I would also gain uh, some more subscribers. But in any case, thank you very much for watching and have a great week. Bye-bye.